I'm on a mission to revolutionize the travel industry and make it a more accessible, accepting, accommodating place for all. I'm encouraging all plus size travelers to click the link in my bio and submit a comment now so that we can see a real change made when it comes to airplanes. So you want to hear my hot take on plus size travel and why I think every plus size traveler should get a free second and even third seat on an airplane? Then you better keep watching and sign my petition to make some real change. <sighs> I got a comment the other day on my video saying that they were extremely surprised that I am American. Whenever this person who was commenting said that when she thinks of an American, they think of someone who's extremely fat, sloppy, and complaining all the time. I don't know, fashion makes like no money That's unless true. you're a thin white woman. So she's a thin white woman. And Jalen, the woman who said that obese people should get a free extra seat to fit there, is pretty much why. Hi guys and welcome back to the drama. If you enjoy listening to drama instead of ingesting it and squirreling it on TikTok, making your brain rot, don't do that. We do not want that. Let me do that for you and you can hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on what's happening on the wonderful world of the internet. Also, I just have a tiny, tiny favor because some people need a reminder. Can you guys just let people know? Comment down below that no one owes you absolutely. Nothing. The certain group that we're talking about today, they always say, I constantly see this in the comment section or they'll even infiltrate my comment section and tell me this when I talk about health and they'll say, no one owes you health. But for some reason we owe them free seats to fit their butt cheeks. I don't know. Can you explain that to me in the comment section too, please? Help a poor woman now understand these types of people. Okay, so let me introduce you to why other countries think that us Americans who are in the land of the free is actually the land of the fat. So Jalen Cheney is a plus size or super fat Fat in there were infinity fat. I don't know. It's these are their terms. I'm not sure if I'm using the correct one. So help me out here. But I just say obese. But she is an obese influencer whose whole shtick is basically traveling while fat and how being fat doesn't stop her from doing anything, even traveling. But she shows how difficult it is to do so. Things that plus size travelers hate. When the tray table can't come down. Worrying about asking for a seatbelt extender. Having little to no room to move. Tiny airplane bathrooms. Hey, there's pros and cons to everything. So a few months ago, she would go absolutely viral for starting a petition to make airlines give the mega fats or whatever the hell they're being called, super fats, I don't know, infinity fats, God, free seats to fit their butt cheeks. I'm encouraging all plus size travelers to click the link in my bio and submit a comment now so that we can see a real change made when it comes to airplane seats. So if you are an advertised person and you want two seats for the price of one, all you have to do, my dear, is eat, eat, and eat until you become a mega fat like Jalen herself. And you might possibly be able to get a free seat to fit your butt cheek. Get this free American hack that she pretty much wants to happen to help all plus size people. But this begs the question, if I wonder if she's also an advocate for women who have extreme, excessive, and quite pronounced BBLs or fat transfers to their You know, they might also need a double decker to fit that butt. They might be seeping into a second one. So do they also get a free seat? Was that in the petition? I'm just wondering. Producer, was it? No? Okay, only fat people. Got it. Tall people? Tall people need accommodation. No? Oh, got it. Just the fat people. We're all on the same page. Okay, well, the petition got over 35,000 people to sign it. Did it do anything to the seats? No. Does she still take up two seats? Yes, probably three actually. Definitely. Did she do absolutely anything to fix her weight? Absolutely not. But what she would rather do is fix the hotel room. That's right, Jaylen wants to now make hotel hallways bigger so that her and her fat counterparts can easily just roll down the hallways with ease. I'm on a mission to revolutionize the travel industry and make it a more accessible, accepting, accommodating place for all. The needs of plus size travelers matter just as much as anybody else. And today I'm gonna to cover what we are looking for in accessible size inclusive hotel amenities. Listen. I'm gonna let you finish, girl, but I have to say, if your body is too big to fit into the hotel hallway, a traveling influencer type job, career, whatever, should not be your line of work. If you struggle getting into a hallway of a hotel room, you probably shouldn't even be traveling. You should have kept that hotel size butt cheek and work on reducing it. Size inclusive hotel amenities are crucial for ensuring that plus size travelers feel welcomed, accommodated, and comfortable during their stay. 
We deserve an environment that respects our needs and body diversity. I think sometimes some of these body activists forget that they don't have to go to these places. You do not have to go to a hotel. It is not a requirement. You can keep your butt cheeks right at home if it's very hard for you to fit in certain places. Now, if you do, you get what they have. And if you are that big, you need to go to a specialized hotel where you can fit. An extravagant hotel to fit that extravagant body of yours. It's very simple. All right, we did not even get to the requirements yet, and I am heavily judging. Shame on me. Let me let, do, do your thing. These are the exact steps that hotels can take to be more size inclusive and accessible for travelers of all sizes. Number one on the list, provide sturdy wider chairs without armrests. I was wondering if she would clarify a bit more. They always advocate for bigger chairs and no armrests, but they never say how big. You know, like we need to know for the blueprints and the measurements and the cost. How big are we talking, huh? What tools are we gonna need? Hmm, can you let us know how uh, thick are those bolts uh, to, to just hold down the chairs and furniture that your booty so big that we have to make all these accommodations to make sure you don't break our stuff? Hmm? Let me know. Clarify how big we are talking. We can't keep making chairs every single year, okay? Y'all keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Tell us how big do y'all plan on getting so that we can comply to your demands. In guest rooms, lobbies, and common areas to accommodate different body sizes and types. Number two on the list, ensure beds with strong support and a higher weight capacity, along with providing reinforced chairs and wider bathroom facilities. All right, so now we gotta enlarge the damn toilet. Question, what about the non-fats? How do we balance our butts on these and like not fall in? Because uh, I'm not the skinniest person, but I'm definitely gonna go for a dip. And how many toilets are we talking? Give me, give me a, a quota. You know, what's, what's, give me a, give me a general number of how many toilets we need for a certain size a hotel room. Jalen, I don't know if she actually has solutions or is this just a whole like pitching out ideas that aren't gonna work type of thing. Number three, make elevators and hallways spacious. So not only hallways, but elevators. I'm very curious, does she even have like a background in business, finance, construction? These are a lot of demands and will cost a lot of money. To allow for easy movement of larger individuals and those utilizing mobility devices. Number four, install grab bars and showers and near toilets. Offer adjustable handheld shower heads and raise toilet seats for added accessibility. So this is a whole hotel reconstruction just for people who are of an excessive size. She must be some type of investor or someone that is uh, just looking for hotel rooms that are interested in working with her so that she can invest in her obvious piles of well, to make all of this happen, I know that's what she is. I know she's gonna say it by the end of this video and I know she's just going to try to make these wonderful changes with blueprints, solutions, and a plan. And we are going to see this all go down. She's, she, she would never just make these extreme demands or suggestions and just have other people figure it out, right? That's not how this works. I just know it. No one is that entitled, especially if you could eat less and then, you know, not get stuck in a hallway or fall to your death in an elevator because you exceed the 1,000 pound weight limit. Nobody thinks like that. Number five, train staff to be respectful, understanding, and accommodating to travelers of all sizes. So I wanna say that she does mean to be respectful, but she also said accommodate. And I feel like that she thinks that the staff has to make everything work and be very dedicated to people of all sizes, but mostly fat people. If a fat person is unhappy, they better make sure they get happy, right? If fat person can't fit in an elevator, you better break out the butter loop and slide that beautiful fat body in that elevator. You make that work. Whenever these people or anyone who is just very hard to work with and very entitled say, accommodate me, it means do everything I say with a smile and lick my asshole. Number six, provide pool lifts and handrails at the entry of the pool. This will allow for plus size guests and guests with different abilities to enjoy all amenities. I'm not against it. I thought most places had that, but you know, I'm not someone, I don't travel very much. I'm not being sarcastic. I do not travel much, much at all. She looks like she travels all the time. So if she's saying that pools never have handrails around them, well then I, I, I just believe her. You think you're gonna find me by the pool? This is not me being booze. This is me being sanitary. I know your kids are pooping and peeing all up in it. And if they aren't pooping and peeing, I know adults are probably doing that too. Absolutely not. I'm not going to that melting pot of germs. Number seven, hotel restaurants should have roomy seating options and sturdy chairs, ensuring that everybody can dine comfortably. I'm just gonna say it, if you're too big to fit in the hallway, elevator, airplane, maybe just eat in the lobby. It's big enough for now. Number eight, offer larger beach and pool seating. Provide oversized loungers and seating at the beach and pool areas. 
allowing travelers of all sizes and abilities to be comfortable. The floor, right? Down there, that's the solution. Remember Tammy, she sat her butt on the floor of the car. If you can't fit in most places, I bet you, you can fit on the floor, <laughs> okay? And especially if you can't fit in most places and you go to a pool and you see those weird, tiny, very frail lounge chairs, yes, you most likely will break it. You most likely won't be able to fit and it's most likely going to be very uncomfortable. You know what's not gonna be uncomfortable? Putting your special body, your beautiful big body on the ground with a towel. That's what I would do if I can't fit, just put my butt cheeks on the floor. Hopefully I've got people that care about me around me and they'll help me up. If not, well, staff, I hope you're well trained on helping a super fat off the floor. And Pedro and Manuel, you help me from the back. Number nine. Hotels should provide size inclusive bathrobes. These should go up to a size 6X and beyond. Well, someone ring Buzz Lightyear because what the fuck does and beyond mean, Jalen? She's very vague. All these people are very vague with their demands. Be clear with these demands. Do we just keep every single size possible for bathrobes? Where does it stop, Jalen? Are we talking, you know, a bathrobe as tiny as Eugenia? All the way to Queen from One Piece? Woman, not gonna lose no weight, just want to appreciate. I got enough fans attracted to my farm. I mean, this is getting extremely expensive. I already did the math and it's way up there because I'm so great at math. These are some excessive costs for a very tiny percentage of people. And hotels should also provide bath sheets or plus size friendly towels so that travelers of all sizes and abilities can use them comfortably. And last but not least, this is an important one. Display clear and accurate information on these amenities on hotel websites. Include weight limits, seat dimensions, and things like that. Isn't that just a tiny bit of a contradiction to her whole list to accommodate the mega fat? She said include weight limits. That is not an accommodation. That is, wait, you didn't see my slot. That is discrimination against a marginalized group. Yeah, I know you guys' language. I've ingested enough of this information to know exactly what to say and how to say it. And include information on the size inclusive amenities available. This will help plus size travelers make informed decisions. By implementing these size inclusive hotel amenities, hotels can become more inclusive and accommodating. Be sure to hit that follow button for more plus size travel tips and share this with someone who you think would help. Well, I shared it, so I did my part. You're welcome, guys. Let's see what the comments say. And they better not disappoint. As someone in hotel management, many budgets simply wouldn't allow for this. You're asking for tens, hundreds, and even million dollar adjustment. How do you expect hotels so wide in hallways? Can't move the walls. If they could, it would take away from the size of the rooms. Yeah, I don't want smaller rooms. And Jalen, how do you expect that? Then you're gonna want the rooms to be bigger. Like, what, pick one. Do you wanna fit in the hallway? You wanna fit in the room? Because the room is where you lay your butt cheeks. The, I mean, you lay your whole body. You don't just take off your butt cheeks and then, that doesn't matter. You, the room is where you reside in and you wanna be comfortable and spacious. As long as they can squeeze you through the hallway. Wait a minute, hold up. How the are they even getting in the room if they can't fit in the damn hallway? You can't fit through the door of the room. This reiterates what I'm saying. Go back home, lower your calories, start working out, stay consistent, you'll lose some weight and then therefore they won't need butter to roll your ass through the hallway. Then you'll be able to fit through doorways with glee and heart. You won't have to start petitions to give you a free airplane seat to fit your butt. So most of them are just people doing laughing emoji. But then there's this one right here that makes the most sense. You can always pay for a suite that has a bigger bathroom. And I completely agree. You want to be treated like an oversized queen from the 1500s or whatever the fuck you're not great at history. But you want to be treated like that, you better pay up. But the thing is, we see this time and time again, these people do not want to pay more. They just want to take, 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 and want it all to be free. It's like the airplane seat. Bottom line for me, if you are worried you aren't going to fit into a hallway of a hotel room, you probably should keep your butt right at home. Use your money for a trainer, nutritionist, and therapy to solve your obesity problem. You solve that, you solve all the other issues that you just listed, Jalen. And you come back to this video after about two or three years of consistency and you say, wow, man, I was a, I was just a little bit delusional, you guys. I was a little bit lulu. I don't know what was going on over there. Too many, too many uh, foods for my vacation. There you go, problem annihilated. Or you can stay the side that you are because let's just be a little bit honest. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer. I was trying to think of something that went with an M. Michelle Menace, kind of like it. But do we really think that she's going to go on some health journey, some weight loss journey? No, being obese and traveling while doing it is her whole shtick. So I would say just find ways to accommodate yourself. What she already is doing. She was complaining about the towels fitting around plus size people's bodies. She already found towels that fit her 6X body. And just like that, it wraps all the way around and covers me fully, which I'm super impressed by. Lux Love makes towels that will fit everybody. So just do that. Find things that make your life a lot easier in, in the very hard life of being obese. That's all that you can do if you don't wanna lose weight. Find bigger towels, 
find the hotel rooms that that you can fit in for now. That do have rain so you don't slip and fall and then have a very, very bad injury and then probably die because that's what happens quite a bit for uh, morbidly obese people. There is the word morbid in it for a reason, but I know you don't like to hear that. You guys like to stay in your fantasy world. So it sounds like you could just not do this petition and literally just keep doing what you're doing. You make good money, pay for a second airplane seat, possibly a third at this point, not too sure, and live a fat, happy and like Whitney Waythor, fabulous life. Really, really hard to move 380 pounds around. But you guys, that's Jalen, the plus size babe that wants hotel hallways bigger. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you do not have to be a size two. Being a muscle mommy is absolutely fun and it scares away a lot of men and brings the freaks around. But it's not needed to be healthy, but health is very important. And if you are at the size where you're worried about if you can fit into a hallway or not, I think we're past the point of thinking about our health. We, we gotta probably start following through on that. Okay, or not. I don't know, I don't care. It's, it's up to you. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear of fun. Growing up is just a trap. Don't